Hello and welcome to another Kmart haul. Why do I feel like it's actually been so long since I've done a Kmart haul? Is something wrong with me? Am I okay? Have I been shopping there? What's going on? I've got a bunch of stuff here to show you today that I am super excited about, so let's just get straight into it. By the way, if you're new here, my name's Tanika. I mostly do videos about affordable drugstore makeup here in Australia, but I also really love Kmart, so there's a few little Kmart bits and pieces sprinkled throughout my channel. I'd love it if you would subscribe and you can also come and follow me over on Instagram. All right, let's start out with something that I am wearing and that is this necklace. So this is, it's one necklace, but it's layered. So it's got three different layers, super cute. You've got, I'm not even gonna try and describe it. Like you can see what it is. This was only four freaking dollars. Kmart's jewelry section is going off at the moment. They have a bunch of necklaces like this that are already layered or you can buy individual necklaces to mix and match and layer yourself. Their earrings are also really nice at the moment. Lots of different styles of hoops. I did pick up these ones here. So they're more of an oval hoop and they've got a bit of a detail down the center there. I did go to wear them the other day though and one of them bloody broke. So the little clip come off of the earring, which is really annoying. They were only $4 though, so it's like, okay or whatever, but <laughs> I've never really had Kmart earrings break on me. They've always been pretty good. So I might pick up another pair of these because I really do love them. But yeah, if you're into jewelry and love all the different kinds of hoops at the moment, layered necklaces, definitely go to Kmart and pick some up because there are so many to choose from and they are just so affordable. Next, I popped into the makeup section and e.l.f. has stepped up their game and the shelves were full of all of their new products. It was so exciting. They have the four quad eyeshadow palettes. They've got the blush and highlighter duos. They've got the lip balms. They've got the cream blushes. I actually picked up two of those. So I have the shade Bora Bora, which is quite a bright pink. And then this one here is Turks and Caicos. I did film a full review on these, so if I have it up already, I'll link it down below. ELF has just really been stepping up their game lately with their releases, and you can purchase ELF on the Australian website, but like you've got to pay for shipping, and it's just like, oh, that's annoying. So it was so good to see that Kmart finally has all of their products. They even have the hydrating concealer, which is so bloody good. I also picked up a spoolie from e.l.f. They're only around $3 and I needed another one because I've been doing soap brows lately and I'm just going through spoolies like crazy. So I needed another one and they're super affordable. So I picked that up from e.l.f. as well. Next, I picked up some mugs and I'm really excited about these mugs. Look, look at this. Like it's freaking huge and the pattern on it is really pretty. It's like a speckled like white and gray speckles. I just think it's very chic, I don't know. I don't know how to describe a mug, but I really liked these, as I said, nice and big, perfect for a coffee in the morning, and they're just super cute, so I got two of those. Next, I picked up a bra, and I don't usually buy bras from Kmart because I am a 10E, and they don't usually go up to that cup size, but I saw that they had these soft, ooh, like just fabric bras with an underwire. So I did pick up a 10 double D and it actually fits really nicely. I love these kinds of bras when you don't want to wear like a proper bra. Like it's still a proper bra, but it's just a lot more comfortable. Let me, um, <laughs> see what I mean? Like it's just got a lot of coverage and underwire I love, it keeps me supported. The straps are thicker, so again, support. And it's not like one of those thin bras that cuts off and your nipples pop out. It's got really nice coverage. <laughs> I hope you liked that demonstration. I don't know. It was only $12. The material feels really nice and soft and it's just a good kind of like, I gotta run out so I've gotta put a bra on kind of bra. Next, I picked up a shirt from the exercise section. I was after something that covered my shoulders. This is called the Thai Side T, and it was $10. I got it in a size 12. It's gonna be a bit hard to see, but it's just a nice baggy kind of loose fitting T, and it ties up on the side here. The material feels so nice and soft, very comfortable. 
I'm not like into real hardcore exercising. I just like to go for a walk or do some stretching and yoga. So this is going to be absolutely perfect for that. It feels very lightweight as well. Oh, it just actually feels really good. As I just said, even though I'm not into like really hardcore exercising, I buy a lot of activewear from Kmart. They just come out with the cutest stuff. I'm forever buying tights, shorts, different crop tops. They're just so cute and affordable. I just love it. I really stopped buying clothes from Kmart. I used to buy so much, but things just haven't really been catching my eye as much as they used to. But I am loving the winter range that is starting to come out. So I did pick up a jumper. This is called, oh, I don't think it has a tag on it. Did I steal this? <laughs> I've got my receipt here. This is called the Rib Funnel Neck Jumper and it was $22. I picked it up in a size 10. Let me try it on, okay? When I walked into store, this was sitting right front and center, right next to, I think it's called a shacket. I'm not sure what that stands for. Obviously something and jacket. What is the sh part of that? But anyway, the shacket was also very cute, but I do really like a jumper. I like to tuck them into my jeans or my shorts. It's just, it's just my preferred style, you know? So this one did come in a few different colors, but I was very much into this neutral shade. This is what it looks like. So if I had on some cute jeans, you know, you could tuck it in like that. If you were to put the layered, oh, the necklaces over the top of this, oh, that would look cute. It's quite lightweight. It's not too thick, which I like because here in Queensland, it doesn't get like super freezing cold. Like this, this is enough. But yeah, I just thought it was really cozy. It feels nice and soft. I might have to get a few more colors. Next, I picked up a pair of slippers. I love to get a new pair of slippers every winter and what I like about these is that they've got a nice thick sole. I can't stand thin little little slippers like give me some support please. So I got these in a size 9 to 10 because I've got quite a large foot and they were $12. It actually says it has a memory foam in sock. Oh that's why they're so comfortable. I just, when I get home, I love to put me jammies on, get into my slippers. And because I do stand up all day at work, my feet do get very sore. So I like to have some support when I'm like standing up, cooking dinner, you know. The fluffy stuff in here is so soft and it's really warm. So these are gonna be perfect as it starts to get cooler. And then lastly, something rather random from the kitchen section are these silicone food bags. Now I have seen these on the internet and they are very, very expensive. So you use these instead of plastic in your freezer. For example, what I would use these for in my freezer are bananas. At the end of the week, if we have any bananas left over that haven't been eaten, I do like to chop them up and put them in a bag and then I use them for smoothies. So instead of putting them in plastic bags that are just going in the bin, I can put them in these reusable silicon bags. How good is that? So it does come with two in the packet. They are. Okay, I thought they were just for the freezer, but they're not just for the freezer. It says that they're just reusable food bags. Replace a single use plastic bag. So freezer safe, dishwasher safe, and BPA free. So I could use these for heaps of things. Like if you were taking a sandwich to work, you could put your sandwich in there. Sandwich, ew. Did I just say sandwich? I was just saying to someone the other day, oh, I hate people who say sandwich. <sighs> but yes, yeah, so you could put all kinds of snacks in there. Lovely. All right, well, that is all for today's Kmart haul. This is my fourth video that I have filmed today. So I am starting to actually lose my mind. I need to go. But if you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and I will link my last couple of Kmart hauls down below if you wanna go and binge. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate you watching today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.